Well, Ben and Jen, I'm going to walk you through what these community members have faced in the last six months. The first victim being killed right here in May. The second victim being killed in the exact same spot in July. He's memorialized right here on this wall. He was only 18 years old and he was friends with the third victim where we're panning to who was killed just inches away where this memorial is growing to honor him. One memorial for one life lost adds to another. That's him right here. Yeah. Wow. That's my boy. He's talking about 23 year old Xavier Pellet, his cousin. He texted me last, last week. I love you out of nowhere. He was gunned down near 170 Willow Street on Monday, just months after his friend, 18 year old William Beltran, was killed just inches away at 173 Willow Street. He knew him too, and he's in the pictures and stuff like that, so I know um, this was his home. In May, 32-year-old Eric Diaz was also gunned down near 173 Willow Street. Three homicides in almost the exact same spot in a matter of months, the latest victim being gunned down in broad daylight. There's no way nobody caught that. Nobody's seen nothing. There's no eyewitnesses or nothing of what happened in broad daylight. There's no excuses for that. District 3's Board of Aldermen says that there needs to be a change in the area. He released a statement saying in part, quote, I have continually advocated for a precinct police office on Willow Street. There used to be one, but funding ran out. We need police presence there again. I commend the police department for their continued efforts to keep our city safe. But these murders continue to pound grief on a community already coping with other losses. I'd rather say free you than long live you. L saying long live you hurts a lot. If it's free you, there's a chance of you getting out. And we have contact Waterbury Police to see if we can find out more information about this latest murder. As soon as we find out more information, we'll update you here on air and online at fox61.com. For now here at Waterbury, DeAndrea Turner, Fox 61 News.